When creating a sales order, your first step is to add in your customer details. Ensure that details such as the delivery address, warehouse, and exchange rate are correct. Add in the products that your customer is looking to purchase. So we can enter caramel squares, of which five have been ordered. And then we can also add in our candy apple treats, of which five have also been ordered. Please note that you are able to apply a discount to the individual order lines or to the sales order as a whole. You can then add in charges for items such as freight. So I'll add shipping and handling charges of $10 here. Please note that these charges will not impact your margin reporting. Once you have all the details entered and reviewed, you can now complete the sales order. Thank you for watching.